I'm on the route to loving myself and I have not loved myself ever. I, before I came here, I truly thought that my soul was absolutely nowhere on this planet, nowhere in the universe. It had left my body. I'm Jo and I'm a retired art teacher, woodwork teacher and metals teacher. I live in Morwell and since 2012 I've travelled Australia. I've had a lifetime of negative self-talk self due to things that have happened in the past. Yeah, horrible things. And how did that negative self-talk make the situation better or worse? Worse, yeah, much worse. Yeah, yeah. And, and I know, you know, but, but when you're constantly being um, told you're ugly and stupid and you're dumb, you know, it, it just, people all around you when you, me, in my childhood were just putting me down the whole time. So, yeah. yeah. And, yeah. It, and it, you carried it for a long time in your life. I think I've only just started to cleanse it now. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. What, yeah. A, what a journey then. What a journey. Yes. And, you know, you started the meditation prior, but, yeah. you know, so you had a little bit of knowledge about what was going to be, be happening yeah. on the retreat. How were you feeling? Like, what was it that led you to, to, to book in for the soul retreat? I, I was virtually just standing on the edge of, edge of a cliff with, with everything around me. My kids, I love them so deeply, but for some reason we're not meshing. I was at suicide, um, just like minuscule. Yeah. So how do you feel now at the end of the retreat? I, I feel a lot better now um, because of the meditation. And I did start three weeks before coming here um, empty. <laughs> empty is good. What did yeah. you? What did you? What did you empty out? I think a lot of the things that happened in the past and things that I've been, I thought I'd dealt with, and I hadn't really dealt with, particularly the most biggest, most horrible thing in the world that happened to us was losing our daughter. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I think I've just pushed her way back in the depths yeah. because if, if you let her come back into your life, into your thoughts, into your day, every day, you're a dribbly mess. Yeah. Yeah. And so what's shifted now? What do, you, what do you feel now regarding that situation? But through your teachings, I, I'm learning how to be a much calmer person. It doesn't matter where you are, but just, just being able to stop mm. and, and just stop for 30 minutes and just zone out of being a massively active person that just kept moving, 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 moving. That moving, 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 moving was because I was trying to keep busy so I didn't have time to think about what's happened in the past. Mm. Yeah. And your, your energy is, you've dropped down, like you're more you, I don't know. That you're, you're... No, I am me now. Yeah, yeah, compared to at the start of the retreat, yeah. Um, I, I am the me that I should be now. The me before was a hyperactive, over-energized um, energy battery bunny, you know, yeah. just going, going, going. Burning, Whereas, burning the system to a crisp. Yeah, yeah. You, you wanted to go deep. You were, you were ready. You well, showed up I, ready. I think I just misunderstood what you were here to, to give me. And what, to okay. teach me. What did you think that I was here to teach you? Well, I had all of these trauma, traumas from the past and a very current trauma that I was trying to deal with but not able to get through mm. to who I was trying to get through to. Um, and so I thought, I thought it was all about making a list of all the traumas 
and putting it out there and and you were going to give me a solution on how to put them in the past whereas I now know I believe you were here to give me um, a a way to internally find myself again yes yeah correct you hit the nail on the head and yeah. you have understood the soul retreat to a T. yeah I've, and I've, a lot of people yeah. joe come here and they want me they want rachini and i to fix their problem yeah and they think it's about that but we're here to give you something that will help you nourish yourself mm. and then the problems will go yeah if you keep nourishing yourself yeah and i think for me being such an active person to take away the the traumas of the past you know the being active just puts them in the background and i don't have to deal mm. with them so learning how to just sit for mm. half an hour that that's a massive thing for me to just sit still for a half an hour yeah you know and and just sit there and 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 having you say to me doesn't matter if you think about the water dripping on the roof or the kookaburras outside or or the washing just let them flow past quickly and then just focus again and you know it doesn't matter and being so real and being so honest with with us how you spoke to me came straight across if you can get through your traumas in life yeah. and you know i know they're still there they'll always be there and and they may surface every now and then but you have strategies now to deal with them and and that's what i'm looking for and now that you've got the tool you will get strong when you keep using that tool Mm. Yeah, I'm... and you won't you won't thank anyone else for fixing your problems. Mm. You will know in and your I heart. And I won't blame anybody yes. for causing my problems. That's a massive thing. Yeah, answer. yeah. Because Cause... I think I think in the past, you know, you see the things that are happening around you, and you tend to blame the people around you for causing you that um, that harm. It feels like they're causing you harm and putting you down and and doing things like that. And and to me, that made me feel like I was a useless human being as a mother, and as as a, just a normal everyday person. But I know I'm a strong, valuable woman, and um, that's I've got to work on how I relate to other people now. And how, what, with your life, without blame, without blaming other people now, how do you think things are going to go? I get triggered by a lot. And so, but I'm just going with the flow. And, and my intention is that if things get, start to get heated, I'll go away and I'll, I'll meditate. I'll just sit down and I'll just meditate, I think. That's you know, the best strategy. Yeah. Because then, yeah. who are you after 30 minutes of meditation? You come back to the thing. Yeah. What and do you meet them with? Um, we can probably communicate and talk, talk the issues through. How do you think that will make the other person feel? Um, well, probably blown away because they've nev never seen me in that, in that aspect at all. You know, being able to have... I can't argue. I, I've never been able to argue because the second I get into an argument, I lose my train of thought mm. and inside my head is just jumping beans yeah, everywhere. Yeah, yeah. So I can't argue. So now I can just relax and after meditation, talk to somebody, hopefully in a more clearer way. Yeah. Without the anger or the frustration they will really hear you yeah they'll hear you for the first time i'm on the route to loving myself and i have not loved myself ever i don't think i find it a very lovable human being <laughs> thank you yeah. and it's been beautiful to connect to you yeah Can, what what is life going to be like with some self-love in there the closest people to me 
I suppose because I see them more often, it's been hard. But if if I go back with more love in my heart and more with love for myself, I can give them more love instead of negativity. So, yeah. And that's that's a beautiful thing to give them. Yeah. What what? What was the standout? I know the retreat's been a kind of crazy experience, you know, like it's been a little bit of this, a little really bit of that. Wanna, no. Yeah, what's the highlight? What's been a highlight for you? Um, being able to come in here and sit with the most beautiful people. You know, the whole group of, as it turned out, ladies this time, apparently. Mm. You've had men in yeah, the group yeah, before. Yeah. But the ladies were all, we were all dealing with our own demons and issues and just to be able to sit there and meditate with people that were going through um, real stuff was just amazing. So we're all sitting there for half an hour each together just zoning out and it, it was just beautiful. Yeah. 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 Rajni's just such a beautiful person. And, and you too, and it, it was just, and just, you're both so genuine, and there's no shit about you. It's down the line, and, and, and you don't have to do everything so, so correct and so exact. If, if, if you do um, sort of wander off course with your meditation or your yoga, it doesn't matter if you do it wrong because eventually after practice you will you will get better won't you <laughs> definitely practice 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 yeah, makes yeah. perfect casting your mind back to where you were when you found out about us the first time what advice would you give old joe about? i would absolutely say come here and do the soul retreat because it's no matter who you are as a person, religious or not, it's, it's about yourself and your inner being. And if you can start to cleanse your inner being and think about um, every aspect of your body inside and, and work on your soul, then you will end up being a better person. Yeah. Yeah. Because I feel a better person already. And that's come from a lifetime of being negative and, yeah. and that's what I have to train myself out of and well you commit yeah. it will work this yeah. path works yeah this path works I know it works because I look at Swamiji mm. I look at Chandor and I'm like these it works mm. these practices work you've yeah. had the experience I'm too busy to sit still for 30 minutes and then but you I'm sit not still anymore exactly story's gone yeah I am not too busy to sit still every single morning. Even if I'm traveling, I can sit on the beach and I can do my med meditation. I, before I came here, I truly thought that my soul was absolutely nowhere on this planet, nowhere in the universe. It had left my body. And obvi obviously it hadn't, and it was still in there. And, uh, and well, what do you feel now compared to that? Well, it's coming back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With a vengeance? Yeah, yeah. So. What does she want to do? What does your soul want to do? Where does she want to take you? Um, I just want to be a lot more understood by people through taking my time to think and meditate and make myself a better person. Thank you so much for sharing. Because that is beautiful. That's <laughs> a beautiful you. vision. I love you too.